Hi everybody, my name's Liz and I'm the baker that sews. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you are not new and you've already watched some of my previous videos. Um, thank you again so much for all the comments and likes and um, subscribers. Um, it's really lovely as always to feel really connected to the sewing community. So thank you so much for everybody um, for all the love on my previous videos. Um, so today I thought I would talk through um, an Instagram challenge that has just finished, so today was the last day and I'm wearing one of the, the last things that I'll talk to you about, so I'm not going to say what I'm wearing now but I'm going to go through the order of um, the different days and, and the themes that we had for the different days. So um, it's called A Hint of Print, I keep saying it wrong, A Hint of Print and it was started by the lovely um, Charlene who is so so dressmaking, I've got it written down here so I don't say it incorrectly. And the lovely um Roshan Roshin, sorry if I say your name wrong, um, who is at Soro underscore Roshin underscore McMullen. But I'll put their um Instagram handles down below so you can go and check them out because they're both amazing and they've both got a wonderful style. Um and I love discovering new people. So if you haven't discovered them yet, uh go and give them a follow over on Instagram. And I know that So So Dressmaking, she's got her own YouTube channel, so go and check her out as well because She's got a lovely style and she's got a really lovely manner uh, when she's doing her vlogs. Um, so yeah, it was called A Hint of Print um, and it was just for fun. Um, just a way of um, having a prompt each day to style your garments. It didn't You didn't have to be a dressmaker, you didn't have to be able to sew your own clothes and you didn't have to wear like Me Made every day. I did wear Me Made because most of my wardrobe is Me Made. Um, and I talk about my wardrobe in my last video, which is a question and answers and then just an update of sewing and things. So I'll put a link down below to that video if you haven't seen it already. So there, it was um, across the week, so Monday to Sunday, and each day had a different theme. So I thought it'd be interesting um, for me to just talk through what I decided to wear on each day. And then if you follow me on Instagram, I've shared sort of a video of me in all the different outfits too. Um, so the first day was polka dots and I've, I've got a few things in my wardrobe that are polka dots um, but not a huge amount actually. Um, I've got some trousers, some Petra pants that are polka dot um, and a couple of dresses that are polka dot. Um, so I chose to wear, I should have made sure that it was facing the right way, it's inside out so I'm just quickly turning it around for you and I'll insert pictures here of me wearing all of these different things as well so you can see them on properly. But I chose to wear this lovely like dotty, it's sort of a ribbed um, jersey, it's really stretchy, it's really lovely so I chose to wear this dress, um, so it's the um, Tilly in the Buttons Freya top and then I've hacked it to add a gathered skirt. So the Freya dress, um, you can use it to make just the top or you can use, use it to make like a fairly fitted dress. And I chose actually to just make the top and then add on a really long um, gathered skirt because I wanted it to be midi length. So the pattern for the Freya top is in Tilly's stretch um, book. And again, I've made everything out of this book. Uh, it's a great book, lots of tips for um, how to make jerseys. So this is the top. So yeah, it's like a, a polo neck top, very quite tight fitted. And then you can turn it into a dress, that's the line drawing, so you can turn it into a dress. And I've made a couple of the dresses as well. And actually the dress version, you can also add a ruffle, uh, which is really cute. So I've actually copied this version because I've had some mustard jersey in my stash already. Um, yeah. So um, it's a really great pattern and again that book's brilliant, it really talks you through how to sew with stretch if you haven't um, sewn with stretch before. So that was day one. Day two, I'm not going to talk too much about this one because I'm going to share this in my April makes but uh, if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen um, I finished my toile of the Intrepid uh, boiler suit in this very bright um, it's great, I love it. I love the collar detail, uh, the pockets. Um, I decided to put the elasticated waistband casing all the way up to where the zip is. Um, on the pattern, you do it just a couple of inches either side of the zip, but I decided to put it on there. I was really chuffed with my zip insertion. I know it's really wacky, I know it's not to everybody's taste, but it was twirl. Um, somebody on Instagram suggested that I chop it and make it short sleeved and into some shorts and I might consider doing that but 
I felt really good wearing it and I'll put images in of me wearing this but it's the Intrepid boiler suit and I'm on to my next um, like my proper version of the boiler suit let me see if I've got so yeah that's what the boiler suit looks like um, and it's Alice & Co great instructions they, it came together really easily so I definitely recommend it if you are wanting to um, sort of have a go at doing a boiler suit okay so Sorry, I'm struggling to put everything back down. Right, day three was stripes. Um, I do have quite a lot of stripes in my wardrobe, but on day three I was going into work. So I wanted something that was, although um, not all of the children are in, we're just looking after key worker children, um, I still like to feel nice when I go into work, like I've made a bit of an effort. It's nice for the children. Um, and we are allowed to wear casual like jeans and things, but I have still, to be honest, been wearing like my work clothes um, because I like I like just going in with nice things and to be honest it's nice to be able to put something nice on instead of living in my loungewear so I opted for the Tabitha t-shirt that I've made in this lovely rainbow stripe it's creased because it just come out to wash I don't really um, iron anything unless I really need to um, so yeah it's made in this lovely stripe this is one of Tilly's fabrics and then I paired it with my uh, bobby pinafore so I've got a navy bobby pinafore. I love this version because it's got Alice in Wonderland um, lining the bib and the pockets are also lined with the same fabric. So it, it just, it, although it's quite plain, it feels quite fun because it's got those details that are hidden and only really I know that they're there. So I wore that on Wednesday. And again, the bobby pinafore is this one, which is lovely. And you can tell you can make the skirt, which I have done actually. I made a skirt out of some red corduroy that I had in my stash. I've had for ages. Um, I did have to, um, although the version that I made technically is a twirl, um, because the the corduroy that I had was quite cheap. I think it's from like Fabricland or something. And I did have to take out a massive wedge out of the back. I really struggled to fit that area, so um, that was a twirl. I ended up taking a good couple of inches out, um, but I still love that pattern by Tilly and then the um, top the Tabitha t-shirt uh, there's Tilly wearing her Tabitha t-shirt uh, that is in the make it simple book and again I filmed a vlog um, and again I'll put a link down below to it um, I've made everything out of here apart from the Sophia wrap play suit which I've got plans to make um, I'm gonna be doing a collaboration with somebody so that's coming but I just want to show you the pattern so it's the Tabitha t-shirt that I made um, let's get the line drawings it's always quite interesting to see them so there they are so you can do the short sleeves or you can do the long sleeves um, oh three quarter length or long sleeves so obviously this version I did the short sleeves and I added a uh, contrast ribbing uh, but I didn't for the neck band I just did it for the cuff and I quite like that pop of purple so that was my stripes outfit and then, uh, day four, the theme was animal. Um, and again, I'm not going to talk too much about this next make because I'm going to share more details of this in my um, April makes. But um, if you've seen my fabric haul video, again, I'll put links down below so that you can go and see it if you haven't seen it. But I shared pictures of this incredible jersey fabric uh, from Semi Sunshine. It's got tigers all over it. Um, so I made, again, the um, Tabitha t-shirt. I find it's taken me a while to find a really good t-shirt pattern that I really like. I, it's it's loose enough, but it's also fitted, and I and I quite like that. It's not too tight. I find the Freya t-shirt, which I know loads of people rave about, it's really fitted, um, and I quite like to have a bit of wriggle room, so I quite like that. And I'm not a massive fan of a high neck on things, so I really like the tab of the t-shirt. And then I decided to pair it with some Stella joggers. Um, so it's a really cute, cool um, sort of loungewear suit. And actually, I wore this last night when I watched um, Almond Rock and, oh gosh, I can't remember the other person. Um, anyway, they did a live on YouTube, Pictionary. I'll put links down below to the people that ran it. Oh, it's terrible that I can't remember her name. I'm back. It was Marie from Stitch Odyssey. I can't believe that I couldn't remember her name. But anyway, uh, they held a really fun live over on YouTube, which was a Pictionary pyjama party. It was so much fun, I, you know, it went on for a good couple of hours and I wasn't expecting it to, but it was so much fun. There were 30 um, pictures that they drew live 
for us to guess. Um, and I was really surprised actually, normally I'm rubbish at things like that, but I knew quite a lot of them because it was all sewing related. Uh, so thank you so much to you both because it was really fun and I know loads of people in the sewing community really enjoyed it. Uh, so I wore these basically for the um, pyjama party and the Pictionary. So um, again, on Thursday, I wasn't in work, but we did have a staff meeting, so I didn't think it would be appropriate to wear my loungewear for the staff, it was a virtual staff meeting, so I got changed into one of my favourite dresses, um, which has been made up in this gorgeous, um, sort of animal print viscose, um, from Sew Me Sunshine, I love the pop of pinks, um, in there, and this is a Deer and Doe Myosotis, again, I'll put images in of me wearing it, but... Um, I love the Deer and Doe Myosotis dress. I think it's probably my most favourite, like, go-to pattern. Um, it's got a lovely mandarin collar. It's got a button placket. Um, it's got pockets. Uh, it's got a ruffle. Um, it's quite loose-fitted, but you can bring it in if you want to add waist ties. Um, I have done on a couple of them, but not on this one. Um, I just love, I love the style of the Myosotis dress, and I love how it feels on is definitely my go-to pattern I absolutely love it um, so then moving on to day five and it was checks now I don't have a huge number of checks in my wardrobe a couple of things but not many um, sort of choices um, but many many years ago obviously when I was very little my mum loved to dress myself and my sister I'm a twin and she loved to dress us both in matching outfits and I've got a picture I'll see if I can insert the picture of me as a, a a little baby in this um, outfit but she dressed us in a gingham sort of black and white gingham um, suit that my sister and I were made to wear and we've got a really cute photo of us both wearing it I'll insert a photo if I can because that was my inspiration for this jumpsuit and it's a deer and doe Sirocco jumpsuit which I absolutely love um, I didn't show images of the myosotis I'm sure you know what the myosotis looks like but that's the deer and doe myosotis Oh, it's a Deer and Joe party because then I went on to wear the Deer and Joe Sirocco jumpsuit, which I absolutely love. Um, and it's in this lovely um, fabric. It's uh, I, I'm not quite sure the composition because I didn't um, get it from like a shop. I got it from a D-stash. It's quite a lightweight jersey. It's got a lot of stretch. It's quite bouncy and it's sort of... I don't know if you can see, but it, you probably... Oh, yeah, you can see. It's textured. I'm not quite sure what type of fabric it is. Um, but it's definitely a lot more lightweight than a scuba. And the Sirocco works really well with a scuba. Um, so it recommends medium weight jersey containing elastane with good recovery and at least 60% stretch. So it, it's got good recovery, actually, this. Um, and it holds its shape, but it is really soft. So I don't really know what it is, but I love this. One of my favourite things, and it's definitely like wearing secret pyjamas. So that was really lovely. Um, and then it was abstract, so day six was abstract. I found this one quite difficult because a lot of my clothing is floral, stripes, the odd polka dot, but not a huge number of sort of abstracty. I've got a lot of animal print actually and a lot of bright colours. Um, so I opted for another jumpsuit. I've got a lot of jumpsuits in my wardrobe. I absolutely love wearing a jumpsuit. And I went for this, um, it's a Zadie jumpsuit. I love the Zadie because it's got great pockets. Again, I'll insert images, better photos of me wearing this. Um, I love the Zadie because of the, po the pockets go on forever. And I, it's made in this African wax print um, fabric, which has got I'm, I'm sort of peacocks, peacock colours, and then these wavy lines. Um, so I took that to mean abstract. And I love this jumpsuit. I made it last year um, on holiday when we went to Cornwall. And it just reminds me, whenever I wear it, it reminds me of that holiday. Um, we had really good weather and I was able to wear it lots and lots. Um, sorry, my phone was full so I had to clear some space. Um, so today is Sunday and it's day seven of the challenge. And today's um, challenge was, or not challenge, prompt word, was tropical. So again, I put on another Zadie jumpsuit. I said I've got lots and lots of jumpsuits. Um, and it's made in this lovely tropical sort of palm leaf, I guess fabric and again I'll put pictures in here of, of me wearing it properly but just love the Zadie um, I can't shout about it enough I love the pockets oh did I bring the pattern in to show you actually 
Um, I don't know if I brought the... No, I didn't. But I'll insert images of the line drawing so you can see what it looks like. But I love it. Um, you finish it off with bias binding, which you make yourself using the fabric if you want to, or you can buy it. Um, and it's got this lovely tie detail, and it's a wrap front, and then the pockets are huge. Um, it's wide leg, so it's really baggy, and this fabric works perfectly, actually, because it's a really light viscose. Um, so, from that challenge, I it was confirmed that I love bright colours and print. Uh, I had a lot of print in my wardrobe, so I knew that this challenge would be really good for me. Um, I also learned that I love a dress, and I learned that I love a jumpsuit, because um, that's what I mainly wore. In fact, that's all I wore, apart from the lounge wear. Um, and that is true of my style, actually. I wear a lot of dresses, and I wear a lot of jumpsuits. Um, I don't tend to wear skirts. Um, I don't tend to wear trousers unless they're jeans, and I haven't made my own jeans yet. I've got a couple of pairs of cropped trousers, but a dress or a jumpsuit is definitely my go-to. Um, I just love them. I love that it's an outfit in one, but that you can accessorise it. Like, I, you know, with my dresses, I can put colourful tights on, um, wear really funky shoes. Um, yeah, and I just feel really comfortable wearing a dress and a jumpsuit and yeah just feel really good about myself so the next thing i'm thinking about now is uh the me made may which is starting obviously um next week and i mentioned in one of my previous videos that i've had thoughts around me made may, me made may and i think what i'm going to pledge is that i wear me made every day uh, and i'm going to try and do the colors of the rainbow across the week so try and wear a different color of the rainbow monday to sunday and then the following week start again um, just to try and push myself from reaching for the same outfits and also to play around with colour a little bit more because I don't know what you're like but I tend to grab like the outfits that I've I'll tend to grab the outfits that I've just finished making and wear them to death and then I also grab things that are really comfortable and then some of my older makes which I absolutely love end up getting forgotten so I'm hoping by looking at colour in my wardrobe um, and being a bit more creative with me made may might push me to grab some of those older makes um, let me know down below if you're planning to take part in me made may and what you're pledging and let me know what you're working on at the moment um, I'll be back soon with another video where I'm going to do a roundup of what I made in April um, and then I've got another fabric haul to share with you thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already it'd be great if you could and I'll be back really soon have a lovely day and take care bye